Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a problem with scale strokes and effects in Adobe Illustrator. The kind of problem that is going to occur when you try to scale something and something weird happens. So what I've got here is a shape and I've applied a transform effect to it. So if we go to the appearance panel here and have a look, you'll see that there's a transform effect on this shape. I just wanted to duplicate it across this shape. So I still have my transform effect in place. But what I want to do is to lengthen this shape. So I've got my selection tool selected. I've got the shape selected that has the transform effect applied to it. And I'm going to start to stretch it. And you can see that something's happened which is a little bit unexpected. Instead of just making this shape longer, the entire shape effect has changed and we've actually got additional spacing. So these shapes are still the same width that they were, but there's space in between them. That's not what I want to happen, so I'm just pressing Ctrl-Z to undo the mess. Now the problem is that I have scale strokes and effect applied in Illustrator. So if you want to see where that is, we're going to the edit option in Windows and going down to preferences and general. On the Mac that is Illustrator preferences general. And this is the setting that's causing me problems, scale strokes and effects. So I can turn it off now, click OK. And now when I go to make this longer, you can see that the change has taken place and we're able to make things longer without separating them apart. Now at this point, if I wanted to go back to the way I was working in Illustrator, I would technically have to go to Edit Preferences General and reapply my scale strokes and effects and click OK. And next time I need to do this, I have to go through the same process. That is a nightmare. So let's have a look at a quicker way of managing this problem. So I have my shape selected. I'm going to the Transform panel. You can also get to it by choosing Window and then Transform. Now in the transform panel, you'll see that there's an option here for scale strokes and effects. So we can disable and enable that setting simply through this transform panel. It's a lot easier to do. It's still a little bit of a nuisance, but at least it is easier than having to go through the preferences every time. So just be aware that when you're in the transform panel, you want to be able to see everything in the transform panel. And if you can't, you'll click this little arrow here to show those options, or you'll come here to click on show options and that will give you access to this selection which then allows you to size shapes without unexpected and weird things happening to the results. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.